sweet. We rock and rolling. I hope so. Welcome back to the show, everyone. It's the Disney list. Kristen, Al John, we're rocking and rolling. And happy October. Happy October, Kristen. Happy October. I'm ready for October. Are, are you ready? Yeah, it's it's one of my favorite months because Halloween is in October. And that means <sighs> 31 days of Halloween. <laughs> I love it. Well, we're having fun here on the show, and we hope you are as well. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook. It's the best way to check us out. We've got so many great things going on there, archive shows, all kinds of cool things. And we've got a brand new podcast coming out tomorrow, which is the, oh, shoot, man. Skull Rock Skull Podcast. Rock podcast. Are you My tired? My brain, I am tired. I think I'm just worn out. I think I'm worn out. But uh, anyway, <laughs> so you'll hear you'll hear a little promo regarding that before we get the show started. Uh, also, yes, National Pizza Month, right? Awesome. Hey, Cameron. Hey, Lee. Hey, top fan, Lindsay. Speaking of top fans, Kristen, how can you become a supporter of this fine program that we have? If they go to uh, Anchor, it's anchorfm.com, right? Yes. Okay, that's it. But <laughs> anchorfm.com, you can go there and support the show and become a donor like our top fan Lindsay is and it can be uh it's monthly it can be 99 cents 4.99 or 9.99 Cameron says I also has my t-shirt and this is true this shirt is a Walt Disney World shirt it is National Pizza Month we'll talk about that with Kristen just briefly ever so briefly but yes this is one of the most comfortable t-shirts I own it's it's one of my favorites for sure. This podcast. Oop. It's so funny. Like I, <laughs> this music bed, like I'm playing behind me. I've 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 set it so that it's supposed to loop and it is not looping. I don't know why. I don't know why. But anyway, it's all good. Hey, how are you doing out there in the chat? Leave us a message and let us know what's going on and. I guess we'll talk about the show here momentarily and what we're going to be covering on today's show. See, now it's looping. Yes. Did you, we need oh, to remind people go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. that if they are watching from another page other than the Disney list, if you want to interact with us, make sure you go to the Disney list Facebook page because it's the only place you can interact with us. Live. Yes, exactly. Don't forget to like and ring that bell for notifications if you're watching us on the old uh Websites like WDW After Dark, also Jedi Mouseketeer, Dining at Disney, still active. Cooking with Mickey, not so much. <laughs> but but yes, uh, please, please feel free to check us out here live at the Disney list. We still have hundreds of people that watch our show through these other websites, uh, our old portals. And, you know, we want to reach as many people as possible, but to interact with us. This is the way to do it. So thank you to the hundreds and hundreds of people that watch us through the other old shows <laughs> that we used to do. But anyway, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get this show started. You ready? I'm ready. The following is a production of the Sorcerer Radio Network. It's from imagination, huh? <laughs> From the Tiki Room Studios in Music City, it's the Disney List. The Disney List. You've got to have characters that the audience, the viewer, the reader cares about. What makes a hero? What's friendship? What's the idea of sacrificing yourself for something larger? With the hope that it will be a source of joy and inspiration to all the world. The Disney List on Sorcerer Radio. With your hosts, Kristen and Al John. Welcome back to the show. Do you like lists? Do you like lists that involve Disney? We count down the top 10, top 5, top 20, best of, favorites, all kinds of goodies. Well, you've tuned into the right place. It is the Disney list. Welcome to the weekly show, live on Sorcerer Radio, as well as on demand at the disneylist.com that's where we're emanating from music city tennessee i'm a lifelong disney marvel and star wars fan al john go at the driver's seat 
joined by my lovely and illustrious co-host. She is Miss Dining at Disney.com, Disney foodie, world traveler, and also earmarked agent, vacation planner, Kristen. Hello. Hello. I love it. Kristen, did you have a good week? I did. We have some news to talk about. And, you know, the layoffs at Disney that happened. We have some friends that are cast members. I uh, talked to Dave Bossert of the brand new podcast that we're launching on Monday, today, Monday, if you're listening to us in the past, if you're listening to us in the future, whatever. If you're in a time warp in the multiverse, you could be listening to us from a multitude of different uh, realities. But he said not only was it Disney Parks employees, it was also more people that were furloughed and then finally, yeah. you know, within the film division and other divisions at Disney. I mean, it's far reaching what's going on. Well, when the film industry movies, for the most part, take place and are based out of California, and you have a theme park in California, and you're not open in much. Unfortunately, that's bad for those industries that, you know, their state's being difficult. Right, right. Well, we wish all all of the cast members, all of the Disney folks, of course, all of you that have been affected by this current world um, issue. See, if I put this on YouTube and I say certain things, you know, we'll get pinged for it. So anyway, this current <sighs> crisis, this current climate, you know that we love you so much. Kristen and I really appreciate the fact that you tune in and you let us into your home every single week, just sharing our Disney fandom, especially those that join us loud in the chat that are always chatting with us. Uh, do you want to give a little Mouseketeer roll call to our friends in the chat room? Well, I want to say that I greatly appreciate it because I am one of those people that has been, you know, furloughed at this point due to everything. And you're not booking but any I, travel, not a whole and, lot. <laughs> and yeah, and people are, and, and I don't blame them. I mean, there's, with the way things are and being unknown of what, happens tomorrow or a week from now, month from now, um, it makes it difficult to plan on a vacation. So uh, yes. I do want to say that I appreciate the people in the chat because they are the people I get to chat with once a week since I don't <laughs> chat with anybody other than, you know, what's in the house <laughs> for the most part. <laughs> for the most part. <laughs> for yes. the most part. Um, let's see. In the chat, we have Michelle, Lee, Lindsay, I know I saw Cameron in there. Yep. 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 Absolutely. Thank you so much, everyone. And once again, if you're checking us out live, don't forget you can check us out on the Disney List Facebook page. We do host some live programming there. You can interact with us if you're listening or watching from our on demand platforms and other platforms out there. We do appreciate that. Uh, once again, if you like, share, and subscribe. And of course, being fans on Sorcerer Radio. Coincidentally, we've got some news before we get into our hit list, our top five list for today, which is what, Kristen? It is our top five quick service. And this is going to be one at each park plus Disney Springs. Yes. So we're going to talk about that as soon as we get done talking about some Disney news. We'll be right back. Hello, everyone. Welcome aboard the Mickey and Friends Tram. I'm Corey Burton, and you're listening to Sorcerer Radio. Doesn't that music just get you in a good mood? Yes. Now I listen to Corbin Blue, and I think to myself, yeah, I'm in a good mood. For whatever reason, and I don't know why, but I, I listened to the High School Musical soundtrack not too long ago, and... It just reminded me of good times being at the park. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because we went to Hollywood Studios for so so long and they had that high school musical. Oh, yeah. The musical, high school musical, the musical float, whatever. <laughs> just running up and down, you know, and it just seems to me 
Like now that they have Hollywood Musical, the musical on Disney Plus, they should bring back that float with those people and then do their social distancing dance numbers. You know what? I am surprised that has not been a song used in commercials or anything for what? 2020. Get in the game. No, we're all in we're this all together. We're all in this together. I know, right? I'm like, why is it? Why has that not been used? I, don't I mean, because everybody's saying it. Yes, we're Every all in this. Every company's You're right. It. You're right, Kristen. But you're right. But they're not using a song that's perfect. For you know, it. you're right. So we need to make it a point to say, we're all in this together gang right is that gonna be our our podcast promo we're all in this together i don't know we might as well be <laughs> well we're all in this together and thank you so much for being here on sorcerer radio or the disney list on demand uh kristen and al john here we have some awesome disney news and before we get into the news what we do need to do is talk about travel you know kristen recently we had a fan basically reach out to you and ask you exactly, you know, what your thoughts was on taking a trip to Walt Disney World and booking because Disneyland at this point is still closed. Yes. And so what is your what is your thought on booking trips over there to Walt Disney World? Well, right now, Disney has a great cancellation policy. And that is that the cancellation policy that's normally in place has gone out the window through December 31st of 2020. So if you book anything for Disney right now, you can cancel up to the day of your reservation. That's amazing. With no, with no, penalties, no penalties or anything like that. So I think that is fantastic. Um, when it comes to the protocols of what they're doing to keep the parks clean and keep people um safe and healthy and all of those things um i wish that i could go to the park right now because can you imagine how clean it is and we know that they're keeping with those standards um because we have friends who are local pass holders and have been going to the parks right and have seen disney tell people to put put your mask back on to you know and they're please, keeping please this put social, your mask back on please they're keeping people socially distanced right. and and really doing a good job of keeping it clean and i would think i mean you can always get sick going somewhere and the one thing that a lot of people often get sick with when they're there is actually the norovirus because mm -hmm. they're also so close to a cruise you know a cruise port and so a lot of that, you know, happens. But think how clean it is right now. Yeah. It's the cleanest that that park probably ever, ever has been. Or anything park. Because they're sanitizing everything so much, which makes me feel good. I like that. I think, honestly, that they're probably doing a much better job than it's. You're probably having a better chance of getting sick going to Walmart than you are going to the Disney park right now. Oh. And I'm just saying, because I'm telling you, they're not cleaning the carts anymore at Walmart. <laughs> I went in there briefly the other day. Well, there you go. There's a reason I stay away from Walmart. Well, look, everyone needs to realize that, you know, there, there is a certain amount of, we, we, we need to try to um, get back to some sense of normalcy, right? Yes. And, you know, Kristen, with your compromised immune system, you know, I still, when I go to work on occasion, I'm still, luckily for me, I'm still able to work remotely, still go in, be safe. I had been tested and I believe hopefully soon that there is a light at the end of the tunnel and that all of us will be able to get into some type of normalcy soon which means that you can book and plan your next trip like we are. We're going to be booking our next trip soon. Um, when you get the doctors okay, we'll be able to make sure that it's all good. But, I mean, it's not uh, – I think it's good to plan for that twenty late 2021 and 2022 when D23 is going to be back in, in full swing and so many other things. So 
So what are the deals? We talk about some of the deals. There are some deals going okay, on what, right what now. Have? They do have a Florida resident Disney Magic Flex ticket that's available, as well as 30% off rooms on select Disney resorts if you are a resident of one of the following states. Alabama, Georgia, Kentucky, Louisiana, Mississippi, North and South Carolina, Tennessee, Virginia, and West Virginia. Mm -hmm. And also another deal that they have going on right now is where you can save up to uh, $500 on a four-night, four-day room and ticket package at select Disney resorts. Now, remember that right now there is limited availability at all resorts due to them not being at full capacity. And on top of that, all these deals are always limited too. So if you're looking to go, Book contact now. me now. And remember that one, I is if I've got the information for everybody in your party, I'll go ahead and just automatically put some book something if it's available because I can put a three day hold on it. And that way, if you want something, you've got it. Um, but you also, other than that, have the chance to cancel that all the way through December 31st of 2020 uh, up to the last minute. So, all right. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Is that it? Do you have more Disney deals for us? That is all my that Disney deals. That's all you have. Okay. Well, onward to some other press. Gotten some news from Disney and Disney Plus. Uh, we have got right now the details on the original documentary that I alluded to a couple of weeks ago, Marvel 616, coming to Disney Plus November 20th. This eight-episode anthology series gives a viewer a deeper look into the creative world of Marvel. And we've got here Japanese Spider-Man, uh, directed by David Gelb. We've got Higher, Further, Faster uh, by Jillian Jacobs. These are the titles, and by the way, the directors. Amazing Artisans with Clay Jeter, director Clay Jeter. Lost and Found with Paul Shear. Uh, Suit Up by Andrew Rossi. You've got Unboxed by Sarah Ramos. You've got The Marvel Method, which I, I can't wait to see, um, about cartoon or comic books and how they come to life with uh, Brian Oaks. And Marvel Spotlight by Allison Brie. Great, great directors for all of these. Marvel 616 explores Marvel's rich legacy and history, pioneering characters, creators, and storytelling to reflect the world outside your window. Each documentary, helmed by a unique filmmaker, showcases the intersections of storytelling, pop culture, and fandom within the Marvel Universe. Episodes in this anthology will cover topics including Marvel's world-spanning artists, trailblazing women of Marvel, discovering forgotten characters of Marvel, and much, much more. So I cannot wait for this. Japanese Spider-Man's amazing. Have you ever seen Japanese Spider-Man? I have not. Okay, so you remember like the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers? Okay. Yeah, it's basically Peter Parker with a Mighty Morphin Power Ranger outfit and mm. uh, and a big, big Iron Giant type of Japanese Gundam suit. Practice. Interesting. Like Voltron. It's pretty cool. But uh, anyway... Cool stuff indeed, and uh, we have that once again. It's coming to you in November. But how about this, Kristen? This is something I, I love talking about. Um, Disney just owns everything practically right now. And if you didn't know, The Simpsons is heading into season 31. I can't believe the that. The Simpsons is 31 years old, and they're going to be streaming this new season, Disney+. Plus. And the 22-episode season brings viewers back to Springfield for a fresh batch of episodes alongside the service's comprehensive list of every season available since it first premiered in 1989. You know, Queenie used to work for Fox. Did I tell you that? No. So my, my god sister, Queenie, used to work for Fox. And when we went over to her house, when, when we were going to L.A., visiting L.A., she actually got us these Fox t-shirts when Fox was a brand new network. It's like married with children, um, the Simpsons and what other Fox TV show that isn't, isn't around anymore. Hmm. But we had a Bart Simpson shirt that said, um, don't have a cow man or a cowabunga dude. And we, we had those, we had those shirts and it was really cool because no one ever 
had no one was walking around Nashville with a a Fox T-shirt. And who are the Simpsons? Who are the Simpsons? And now look at us, thirty-one years later. Pretty cool. I, w- I wonder where those shirts are. My my parents probably torched them by now. Oh, they probably got thrown away. <laughs> but there's a ton, a ton of uh, of all stars that are going to be in. You want to read some of these all stars, Chris? I can. Billy Porter, uh, John Mulaney, Jason Momoa, Kevin Smith, Joey King, Lily Singh, Kate Blanchett. Chrissy Teigen, Jim Parsons, and then you have musical performances by John Legend and Weezer. That's exciting. I mean, first of all, everybody loves Kevin. Well, I love Kevin Smith. He, I am like the Kevin Smith fan, big <laughs> Kevin Smith fan, and so I'm look. I'm I'm happy to see him. And and you know, Jason Momoa, Aquaman, was over at my work last week. Did you see that? I heard about that. Yes. That's pretty cool. I wish I could have met him. Everybody's like, did you see Jason Momo at work? And I said, no, I haven't. I didn't see him, but um, that's very cool. And Jim Parsons. I mean, you like Sheldon, right? I mean, you like some big band bang theory every now and again. Yeah. Yeah. He's a funny dude. So any, and Weezer, big fan of Weezer and uh, John legend, not too shabby himself. In fact, uh, saw John legend play a concert in Las Vegas. That was a lot of fun. Really cool stuff. So anyway, can't believe it 31 years of the simpsons and uh can't believe they're back on disney plus um amazing amazing stuff you like the simpsons Kristen? no <laughs> i was gonna say um <laughs> that's you know, what i've been so quiet that was a, that was, yeah that I was a really not i've just i've never gone into that show that was a very short answer but yeah. uh that's cool hey uh the fact is is that universal like most of the park is being it, it, you know, they're writing checks to Disney because you've got the Island of Adventure, Marvel Land, and you have the Simpsons Land. So think about all the merchandise they're writing off to Disney because they own the property now. Isn't that crazy? Yes. It's crazy. Something else that we love because it is October, fall time in full effect is Halloween. Kristen, I, I love Halloween so much. You and I are on a tear, literally on a tear watching horror movies. We watch horror movies all the time anyway, but... um I like the fact that uh, Halloween gives us another excuse to watch more horror movies. That's true. <laughs> but we have here Happy it, Hollow Street. Yes. It gives us a reason to revisit movies we haven't watched in a while. That's right. That's right. And so this Halloween, Disney is doing a hollow stream on Disney Plus, the ultimate collection of Halloween movies and specials. Chris and I will be tackling that next week on the show. Uh, some of our favorite list of Halloween movies. In fact, we are um, putting that list together. And when you log on to Disney Plus, you'll be able to check out 30 episodes of The Simpsons that, uh, can you believe it, 30 years? I guess they've had a Halloween episode just about every year. Uh, Disney Channel Halloween specials, including That's So Raven, Doc McStuffins for Disney Junior, and Hocus Pocus and Nightmare Before Christmas. So you've got all these things that are kind of curated carefully by Disney, for you so you have your halloween fix every night of the week one of the movies that i would suggest is missing for the list which one is that are you going to just tell us we'll we'll Um, wait they they'll catch it next week all right some of the movies that you can check out uh some of our perennial favorites frank and weenie's great you also have hocus pocus of course haunted mansion you've got the ghost of buckley hall uh, the Nightmare Before Christmas. I was going to say, how can you not start with The Nightmare Before Christmas? Well, because it's not at the top of the list. It's in alphabetical order, Kristen. I know that, <laughs> but that doesn't mean you need to read it that way. Uh, you've also have got some specials there from Disney uh, Channel Halloween shows. Everything from uh, Casey Undercover. You've got Lizzie McGuire. You've got Phineas and Ferb. What up, Phineas and Ferb? And Shake It Up. With Bella Thorne before she started going crazy. And then Wizards of Waverly <laughs> Place. Wizards of Waverly Place, yes. And Disney Junior. Uh we've got a lot of specials there. Doc McStuffins, Jake, Jake and the Neverland Pirates, Mickey Mouse, Clubhouse, Muppet, Muppet Babies, and uh, so much more there happening. And don't forget, the right stuff will be premiering uh next week. 
on uh, Disney Plus, as well as Clouds and Meet the Chimps on October 16th, Once Upon a Snowman, October 23rd, and my favorite and yours, Kristen, The Mandalorian Season 2, premiering October 30th. Okay, I don't know about anybody else out there, but if if you were alive in, like, the late 80s and you hear the right stuff, don't you just want to go, uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh, don't do it. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Donnie Wahlberg will come down and give us one of those cease and desist, uh, you know, emails. You know? Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it, Donnie D. Hey, another thing we're he's doing. He's on the backup. He's on, he's on the backup. Yep, he's on the backup. He's on the backup. And KOTB. Uh, the Halloween magic is happening on Source of Radio. So don't forget, gang, where it falls in full effect. The uh, the Halloween stuff is is going strong on Source of Radio, and we have a special channel, digital channel, dedicated to the sounds of Halloween. You don't have to wait much longer. It's in effect right now. Halloween Magic programming will feature all the awesome Halloween Disney music that you'll love, plus some special surprises. You'll also be treated for music from the Disney theme park shows, rides, parades with your favorite villains and even some special remixes. I know this is awesome. So be sure to check out seasons on one of our special digital channels on source of radio source of radio is not only just one channel, it's multiple channels and you have to listen to the Disney list on demand and so many of our, uh, of the other shows. So that's a beauty that source of radio. That's why we've been around since 2001. I have one other thing to mention. Yes. That has to do with Halloween. Yes. Because Disney does own Hulu. Oh, okay. Go ahead. For those who are who aren't little ones, there's Halloween. <laughs> you have all the scary movies to watch on Hulu, and they always do their own like original scary movies too. Exactly, exactly. So please check that out. Uh, did you know that Jamie Fox was rumored? To come back as Electro from his Amazing Spider-Man number I two. That. That's actually been confirmed. So we have a lot of things happening there with Marvel this week. Uh, there's there's all kinds of talk about Tom Cruise joining up as a multiverse Iron Man in an alternate universe. No. No? Nope. I'm just saying. There's a bunch of rumors going around. He's crazy. The multiverse of madness Doctor Strange movie is lining up to be one of the most killer movies of all the, of all Marvel Marveldom and the MCU. So I can't wait for that. It's going to be crazy wicked. So are you ready for the list? I'm ready. I am ready as well. Check this out. Skull Rock Podcast, talking all things Disney with your hosts, Al John Go and Dave Bossert. Do you just love to learn more about the magic that embodies animated films, theme park attractions, and more? The all-encompassing universe created and produced by the genius of Walt Disney has spanned nearly 100 years in counting. From his earliest film endeavors with the Laughogram cartoons and the Alice comedies, to the creation of Mickey Mouse, to the first animated feature film, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, and then dreaming of Disneyland, Walt Disney continuously raised the creative bar, and today his company has carried on that tradition as a global entertainment juggernaut. I'm Dave Bossert, artist, filmmaker, and author. And I'm Al John Go, musician, podcaster, and radio guy. Every week, Dave and I will explore the entertainment galaxy that is Disney with insightful conversation, stories, and special guests talking all things Disney. Listen to never-before-heard stories and behind-the-scenes moments from some of your favorite Disney films, theme park attractions, performances, books, music, and so much more from knowledgeable, insightful, and thought-provoking hosts and guests. Hear the latest news about Disney past, present, and future. Skull Rock Podcast is your go-to source for the magic we all love. Skull Rock Podcast, coming soon. Visit SkullRockPodcast.com. Hi, I'm Tom Bancroft, animator on Disney's The Lion King, Aladdin, Pocahontas, Milan, and others. And you're listening to Sorcerer Radio. Welcome back. 
it's the Disney list. Kristen, you have a few comments in the chat regarding travel. Lindsay's asking a question. Do you want to read the question? Give her an answer. She says, when do you think we can book late 2021? I don't know. I'm hoping it's soon, though. Well, there you go. Unfortunately, they they haven't given us that information yet. Lindsay says, my sister and sister-in-law, are there now? Are they, they're there now? Oh, cool. They said they were doing a great job over there at Disney. So. Yep. That's that's awesome. Michelle says in the chat, I've never seen an episode of The Simpsons except for the short with the baby from The Simpsons. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Lee says, even if I was ready to go, I can't cross under the border unless it's essential travel. Is Disney vacation essential? Yes. <laughs> it is. I get it. Lee, we'll get there, buddy. We'll get there together someday. It'd be great. Um, Michelle says, I miss going to Disneyland. I've visited another park for their food and wine festival yeah isn't uh knott's berry doing their uh are they open yet because they're outside of the no they're not are they i doubt it oh i'm trying to think of what other park well maybe it's not not there that i saw um but anyway uh cameron is asking question have y'all ever done a rank of the hotels on disney property we did a long time ago yeah. On our former WDW Tea Room podcast, we did. But, don't, you know, don't worry. We're going to be doing it. We're, we're coming around. We are coming around. So, Kristen, why don't you tell everyone once again who are just tuning in uh, to Sorcerer Radio exactly what we're talking about this week? We are talking about our favorite quick service restaurants, and it is one from each park plus Disney Springs. I love it. I love it. So let's go ahead and get started with number five. Where are we here, Kristen? Well, let's start with Disney Springs. Let's start with Disney Springs. I love this place because the food is super consistent. Okay, which place are you talking about, Al John? What? Wolfgang Express at Disney Springs. Now, my understanding is is that they they are coming back, right? Well, everything will should eventually come back. Yes. So one of my favorite things over there at Wolfgang Puck at Disney Springs, and notice I said this is the express location. Um, and both locations are great now. Actually, yes, they're so they're both they're both really great. But one thing I love about this place. I guess I love everything about this place, but uh, my favorite dish on here is the bacon wrapped meatloaf. The bacon wrapped meatloaf. Yeah, you've had that a few times. I have I have a few things on the menu that I oh, really yeah? like. Yes. Like what like what? Well, one is the oven roasted salmon. That's oh, always so good. it's always good. Uh, it has marinated tomatoes and uh, broccolini <laughs> and it's good. I love it. Um there is also the barbecue chicken salad. Mm-hmm. that they have that's very good and I'm trying to remember what pizza it is i get um let's see i think we get the roasted margarita. i get the roasted mushroom because it's got the goat oh, cheese on it i got you with the arugula parmesan and of course a garlic cream sauce because garlic cream sauce always makes things good hot diggity dog yeah, I think we've had just about everything on this menu over the years. We've had so many, and it's always good, super consistent, easy to get in and out. The desserts are great as well, and what's not to love about Wolfgang and Park Express? Yes. when they have the Disney Dining Plan, it is an excellent use of your quick service credits. I agree. I agree 110%. 110 percent i'm loving it i'm loving it uh lee by the way says knots has been open for about a month that's exactly what for it food is. and wine for but no wine. no rides yes that's it that's it so good stuff there well wolfgang pucks i love it are we ready to ready to move on yep number four all right okay. where are we now we are at 
the animal kingdom. Wow. <laughs> I love animal I kingdom. I thought this one was a difficult one to try and choose between because there's two places that we really like and always have a good experience at, and that is the Flame Tree Barbecue. Yes. And that's the one we're going with. But also, I'm giving a nod to Satouli Canteen. Oh, okay. So that's your that's your honorable mention? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm putting my honorable mention in There's there. There's so many honorable mentions, y'all. I didn't, even, I didn't even think to put any honorable mentions. But we do like this place, Flame Tree Barbecue. Yes. And we love this place. This place, it's it's been a favorite of the Source of Radio DJs now for years and years. And there's a lot of reasons why. Because, once again, consistent and yumminess. And very easy to get to. And I've never had, we've never had a huge issue with seating at that place. There have been times when the park is super full that you may have to wait. And we have done that, wait for a seat. But for the most part, there are not a whole lot of issues at this place. No, because you can walk like all the way to the back area where it goes like, goes down and usually find free seating there. Right. Now, what do we normally pick up here at Flame Tree, Kristen? What's our favorite entree? Well, we often do the smoked pulled pork sandwich or the ribs and chicken combo. Those are like our two go-to things yeah and sometimes we actually split them yes so sometimes we'll get the chicken ribs combo just for one and we'll split it sometimes and then go to another place it's another thing another little hack your vacation tip because there's so many different places that we can use our disney dining credits if we're doing the disney dining plan you get you go to one place and you split an entree then you go to another place and split an entree then you have all kinds of flavors you just have to wait in line a little bit but, or now you've got mobile ordering for a lot of locations, and that yes. makes it a lot easier. You're right. Mm-hmm. You're absolutely right. Now, the other thing I'm going to say that is excellent to get here and is always a must-get for me is the onion ring basket. Amen, sister. And I'm so glad they brought back the spicy barbecue sauce because for a while they didn't have it. They like got rid of it, but it's back, and it is one of my favorite barbecue sauces. Absolutely. Uh, Lindsay's saying how much she loves Flame Tree. Absolutely. Um, Barbecue is pretty darn good, gang, if I may say so myself. It is is good. Uh, It is good. The other thing, uh, what else is I going to say? Oh, right now they have special drinks. That's for true. Halloween. <laughs> I like to Are say it that way. That? Yes, I don't I'm going to say it all the need, time now. I'm going to need a, a special sound effect just for you. So I'm going to I'm going to mention one drink. You can get it without alcohol, but I'm going to suggest you get it with the alcohol. And it's the rotten apple, and it's an angry orchard crisp apple cider, and it has fireball whiskey, cinnamon whiskey. Ooh. It's over ice. Garnished with gummy worms, and wow. then there's a glow cube. So you've got three choices. You can either go with the green glow cube, the purple glow cube, or the red glow cube. Nice. I want the purple one. I, you want the purple one? Yep. Okay. That, that's the first one I would have to get would be the purple. We always get Safari Amber, by the way. I actually think I need to try and make this at home because that actually sounds really good. I think you should. And I should. I think we need to go and get the accoutrements for it as well, including the gummy worms, because, man, that sounds yummy to me. But, yes, everything is great. Now, we have some – I'm going to have to pull up some of our comments for, for from the Source of Radio Disney Fun Zone and our, our Instagram and stuff okay. as they talk about what they, what they dig per part. But, once again, if you're tuning in, this is all about our favorite quick service – dining experience in every one of the Walt Disney World parks, including downtown Disney or Disney Springs. Oh my gosh, a little faux pas. But uh, are we ready? (laughs) Are we ready for the next one? Yes. Can't believe it. Number three. So over at Disney's Hollywood Studios, this is one of the newest quick service locations, and that is Woody's Lunchbox. And they have a pretty unique menu and the food has been really good there yeah 
And that's what I like. It's something different than getting your usual, you know, whether it be pizza, chicken tenders, burgers, hot dogs, that kind of stuff. This has some unique items that mm -hmm. you can get. So for like dessert, they have a their version of the pop tart. So you can do either the chocolate hazelnut, they call it the lunchbox tart. Um, and right now they have a seasonal lemon blueberry one. Ooh. Now, when you say pop tart, let me tell you, these are not pop tarts. No, these are these are uh, Disney the, made version of they, a pop tart. I mean, it is so good. You have the flaky crust. You've got the nice frosting on top. A little bit of little sprinkles on top, and this is just absolutely yummy. I mean, like I'm getting hungry just thinking about this because it's one of my favorite snacks. It's to me, this tart, this could be blasphemous because of our, our, our past with the Tiki room. You know how much we love Dole Whips. This is my favorite. It's better than a Dole Whip. What? Yes. I'm I don't know. Take, you. You're being weird take, today. Hot take. The lunchbox tart is better than a Dole Whip. Really? It's yes. Hmm. It's better than Dole Whip. I will go on record and saying that. Disney, you've done well. Pull up the menu for me, please. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to find I have some million the, windows the open. The lunch dinner menu. Okay. You're on the breakfast menu. Yes, I'm, I'm trying to move down. You can't go down. You have to click on it. Do oh, you not know how to use the website? Go for here. heaven's sake. It's... Meal period. And then oh, you select okay. lunch and dinner. Okay. There you go. Gosh, here you would you like the keyboard? <laughs> would you like the keyboard? You can take it. Okay, so I know what it was that Jeez. I had. That was so good. It was the barbecue brisket melt, which is yes. shredded smoked brisket, pickles, and tangy barbecue sauce with melted cheddar and Monterey Jack cheese on a grilled sourdough bread. And I ordered with it the tomato basil soup, which was actually very good. Mm. And if you like tater tots. Yes. They have potato potato barrels. That's kind of hard to say for some reason. Potato tater, tater barrels. Yes. With beef and bean chili, shredded cheese, signature queso with tomatoes, corn chips, and sour cream with a sprinkle of green onion. And it's just perfect. The tochos. The tachos. Tachos. I like the tachos. I like, tot I like tots. Tots. You got any tots? <laughs> Don't put them in your pocket. I'm going to put these tots in my pocket and save them for later. Oh, geez, Al John. <laughs> now, I, that, those are some of my favorites for sure. Uh, we've had the brisket melt. Yes, that's great. We've had the grilled cheese. That's good, too. I, we've had all the entrees here, the sandwich and the uh, the tachos. And uh, they're very good. Very good, indeed. We even had the Baby Bell snack cheese. <laughs> Which you could get at your grocery yeah, store. Yeah, which tastes just like Baby Bell. If you can imagine that. Grilled cheese is good. They're good for picky kids. They are good for picky kids. But this is, it's cool. Uh, Lindsay says, Al John, I respectfully disagree. Dole Whip will always be the best. Yes, I understand. I understand. You see, I, I, I'm, I'm giving the hot take. I'm giving the hot take right now. But uh, the thing is, uh, I guess there is no no thing. There is no thing. <laughs> I just had a that's my hot take. <laughs> that's my hot take. And I'm getting I'm feel free to write us if you would at the Disney list gmail.com and uh let me know how much uh you disagree with the fact that I love the the uh the uh, pop tarts more than the dole whip. Now. So anyway. Lunchbox tarts. Lunchbox tarts. Yes. Yes. So can you believe it? We're already here at Number two. <laughs> What's funny is these really aren't in like a favorite order. They're in order. Reverse order of park. Uh, <laughs> Sunshine seasons over at Epcot. Yes. That is where we are right now. Love it. I like that you can get breakfast, lunch, and dinner there. The food is, is fresh. Desserts. Tons of choices. And if you have a family that is looking for more variety, you have quite a few different choices here because they have like a salad station 
and sandwiches, and then you've got your Asian food and some grilled items and things like that. So there's a lot to choose from. <laughs> you turn away from the mic when you look at me and acknowledge me, and Sorry. it's like <laughs> you, you can't hear you when you turn away like that. But uh, man, what's not to love? Power I salad with was chicken. Say, that is one of my mm-hmm. go-to things. That and the oak grilled yes. salmon. It's all good. It really is. The oak grilled salmon, super yummy, served with cheese grits and andouille corn, yummy, and succotash. That's in there as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've had everything on here. I've had the, the burger is fine. It's just, it, it's a burger. It's not nothing to write home about. But what is nice, uh, power salad, had that, still hungry, uh, but still power salad's good. We always get the power salad with chicken though. We do. We have add-on chicken. Pulled pork and cheddar piled high on Texas toast for the land crusher. So that's very good as well. Uh, we've also had some of the desserts and they've had, a lot of desserts over the years. Yeah, they change seasonally too. Yeah. Um, so they're good. They do have, once again, and I meant to say this for the last place, but they do have plant based menu items, including they have a plant based cookies and cream chocolate mousse cup, which is great. So be hmm. sure to look up some of those options if you have dietary restrictions. Uh, they also have a whole wheat pita with roasted jackfruit, tzatziki, roasted bell peppers, uh, roasted peppers cucumbers and pickled onions so uh that sounds actually pretty good to me as well so sunshine sunshine seasons always a perennial favorite and uh, one of our must-dos for sure yes you can't go wrong when you have a lot of choices Lindsay says in the chat sunshine is awesome because you can get so many choices and you can use snack credits too yes and you can get beer there and Alcohol is important. And vine. You can get wine there, right? They've got the and cut wine. water spirits. And cut water spirits. Yep, yes. They're canned oh. beverages. Yes. Uh, we do need that. We need Travis to send us some of those. We do. And congratulations once again to the Travis Sprague family. They just got a little one. A little bun popped out of the oven over this weekend. So Her name is Addison. Love it. So Avery, Avery, Avery and Addison now. Two little ones. They both have Grey's Anatomy names. True. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Hey, guess what? Are we we there yet? Do we want to recap what you've talked about before we hit the big one? We can. Go for it. Okay. So at Disney Disney Springs, we have Wolfgang Puck Express over at Animal Kingdom is Flame Tree Barbecue. At Disney's Hollywood Studios, Woody's Lunchbox. At Epcot, Sunshine Seasons, and... Number one. At Magic Kingdom, Pecos Bill Tall Tale Inn and Cafe. Did you see that coming? Did you see that coming? I think uh, if you follow the show, you know that we love Pecos Bill's. Uh, you from, get a lot of food you for get, your money. You do get a lot of food, but it's once again very good, very consistent. No one, no one that I know has ever, you know, suffered any type of, uh, you know, sickness from going there. No, right? it's 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 good, especially if you like Mexican food because you have fajita pat, platter, yep. Southwest uh, salad with chicken, beef nachos, chicken nachos, or you can get it with pork pork carnitas they have rice bowls as well uh so there's a lot to choose from and they do have plant-based options there like a veggie rice bowl that you can get um and right now i'm gonna mention a couple of halloween exclusive and one of them is going to be absolutely delicious if you like spicy foods. And it's going to be the Hades nachos. Because it's black bean nacho chips with fiery buffalo chicken, lettuce, tomato, sour cream, salsa, and jalapenos. Mm. And you can get one of their desserts, the cinnamon donut holes. Right now, they have it in this really cool collectible hitchhiking ghost. I want it. That you can get. I, I want that. I want it too. I want it. We need to have it. Need Someone to. needs to send that to us. Yes. That would be awesome. We you would, would be that. my new favorite person. 
<laughs> uh, let's see what else we got here. Well, I'm going to say my one of my go to entrees here is the fajita platter. Yes. I really like it. I've had it with the chicken and the and the pork carnitas, mm -hmm. but you have yellow rice, beans, fajita veggies, lettuce, tomato, and sour cream, salsa. It comes with flour tortillas. It's very filling. And then you have your choppings bar with all the extra stuff you need to add to it, like cheese and stuff. Yeah, we've had the beef nachos before. We just loaded it up before when they had the fixins bar. That was just to the top, to the tippy tippy top. Crazy. And the same thing goes for anything, really. I mean, you think about it. We've had the I've had the third pound Angus uh bacon burger and the burger there we've had uh the black bean nachos we've had the rice bowl everything you can imagine the fajita the salad we just loaded up to the top but they don't do that anymore nope nope they don't do that anymore not so, right now not right now but, but uh, i'm sure cool. they have all the little things like i'm sure you can walk up and like grab the little cup like i'm sure they're like pre-done they're pre they're pre-done yeah they're the the sour cream and the you know the salsa and all that other stuff but uh still incredibly yummy and there you have it can you believe it can you believe it we made it through another top five list and we have some feedback as well so are you ready to check out some feedback yes all right so you can check out the disney list on the source of radio discord and we had people chime in. We were actually supposed to be on last week, and we uh, had a little bit of a uh, a little conflict, so uh, we didn't do a show last week. This was supposed to be our show for last week. We asked our, our Disney fam, the Disney List fam, what they thought their favorite restaurant was for quick service at Walt Disney World. So AJ Redfern, buddy, says, Tough choice. However, I'm going to have to say Cosmic Ray's Starlight Cafe. Okay food and entertainment provided by Sunny Eclipse. So it's okay food and you're there for the entertainment? Is that what I'm hearing, AJ? I'm sure a lot of people are there because that's just, it's just a, a cute little entertainment yeah, thing like, that you have there. Yeah. It's great if you have kids too. It helps to keep it's them like occupied. like Chuck E. Cheese and Showbiz Pizza back in the day where a kid <laughs> can be a kid. Except it's, you know, the guy that does Garfield's voice. That's uh, Cosmic Ray. So there you go. Horizons 1 says... That's a difficult choice, but I have to go with Captain Cook's at the Poly for two reasons. Tonga Toast and the Thai Coconut Meatballs. Bingo. Horizon 1. That high five. That makes me hungry. Heck yeah, it does. Joan says, oh, the Backlot Express. Eh, also very good as well. Kenzie agrees with us. Kenzie says, Pickles Bills. AJ says, uh, hey, Joan, I always remember... A limited edition cheesecake they once had. I tried to find it everywhere and haven't been able to find it since. Remember that cheesecake? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was, I mean. Um, Sarah Nagy says, love Casey's Corner in the Magic Kingdom. Second favorite is Flame Tree Barbecue. You know, um, I said earlier that I didn't have a, uh, uh, a honorable mention. Yes. Casey's Corner is one. That's I a good love one. Casey's Corner. It just reminds me of good times and, and uh, corn dogs. Yummy. Jeremy from All Ears Alert there says, I'm really surprised no one mentioned Satali Canteen. Well, Kristen just did. Got on the uh, the little honorable mention list. And then uh, also. They have a really good, unique menu. Yeah, it is good. It is good indeed. Another one of his favorites is Tortuga Tavern when they had the loaded na uh, nachos. Remember that, Sorcerer? I love it. Uh, yeah, once again, Pecos Bills, Tortuga Tavern, one and the same. Um, a lot of people are saying, Angry Whopper says, they changed Pecos Bills a few years back, didn't they? I'm trying to remember uh, what they changed it to. Our go-to for quick service these days is Pinocchio Village House over Magic Kingdom. Bucky says, tough choice. However, I'm going to have to say Cosmic Ray's Starlight Cafe. Okay food and entertainment always about the okay food and entertainment right it's it's because people like like the entertainment they do imitable says hard choice we only eat quick service possibly sunshine seasons um 
What is it? Possibly Sunshine Seasons at Epcot. They have wonderful vegetarian options and they don't have to wait 15 minutes or more for uh, for they're much more varied than other places in the parks. We also really like Pecos Bills and Satoli, even though they don't like Avatar. <laughs> there you go. So anyway, awesome. And uh, OC2WDW uh, has this comment. I like almost everywhere, but I do have my stops at each park. Magic Kingdom for Pecos Bills, Backlot Express at Hollywood, Epcot at Sunshine, and AK at Restaurantosaurus. I'm a sucker for free refills. Mouse ears. I don't blame you. 100%. I do not blame you. It's good stuff. Do you have any uh, ending, I guess, uh, follow-up words um, in that regard for what we have going on here? Like uh, ending words about the uh, restaurant choices? Or I can't, no, I can't think of anything. I feel like I said pretty much what I need to say about the restaurant. Yeah, Jason Davidson uh, there uh, on Instagram says sunshine seasons, man. You know, that that's a winner no matter what. It is a winner. Absolutely a winner. So uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave us those in the chat window. Uh, give us a like, share, and subscribe to the show as well. We would love it if you do that. Don't forget to check out the brand new podcast. Subscribe to it on all podcast platforms. It is Skull Rock Podcast with me, your host, Al John Go, as well as Disney author and Disney animator, Dave Bossert. We're going to be talking about all things Disney. Sounds familiar? I'm sure it will, but uh, we've got so many great little tidbits. We've got musicians coming in, uh, composers that help compose music for Fantasia and the Black Cauldron and so many other things. Uh, hey, you can, you can see some of our background there. You see? We have some really cool Disney memorabilia behind us this time. Uh, don't forget, you can follow me, Al John Go, on Instagram. And Kristen, if people are interested in booking a trip with you because you are a, uh, a Disney vacation planner, where can they get in touch with you? They can email me at themeparksandcruises at gmail.com. Nice. And then if they are all about Disney food and enjoyed this show, then they have to tune in and check out Dining at Disney podcast where Bubba and I talk about everything Disney food. Why are you doing the Blake, the Blake Shelton? Shelton? Because I'm doing the Blake Shelton because it's your podcast and it is National Pizza Month. Yes. And, and you recently we do did a have, show. We did not too long ago. We talked about our best pizza options, both quick service and table service at Disneyland and Walt Disney World. So if you like pizza, you definitely want to check that out. But um, I'm a huge pizza this, fan. This, this, I'm not sure what we have coming up this month yet. I don't, I haven't really planned it. What? So I'm for trying Danny, to for get, Danny I Disney? am, I am trying to get, uh, and I've got a, I've got a message to this person, but we may have this week an interview. We may. We may. Okay, for, for Dining at Disney. That's yes. awesome. Yeah, don't forget to give her a like, share, and subscribe as well for um, Dining at Disney. Hey, by the way, a couple other comments I forgot to mention on Facebook. Lindsay says, uh, Cosmic Rays and Flame Tree. She's she's a big fan of those restaurants. That's awesome. She says, if I eat a quick service restaurant, I have to eat a Cosmic Rays because the alien just makes me laugh. This is true. This is true. Cosmic Rays <laughs> is the best. I agree. There's, I mean, you can't go wrong. You really can't. Heather says, fish and chips at the, the place in England. Yes. We love that place in England. Fish and chips. Yorkshire. Yorkshire. Fish, fish and chippies. Chippies. Beth Jones says, cosmic rays. And that comes to us there from our Facebook group. So uh, it's awesome. It's awesome. Well, gang, yes. I also need to remind people to check out our friends, WDW Park Hoppers. Right. Yeah, check out their podcast with Park Hopper Sid and Park Hopper John. So they check talk out yes. all things Walt Disney World. Yes, yes. So please check them out. Check out our friends, the Diz Geek Podcast. They're awesome. They just put out a new podcast recently. Um, you know, hopefully everything gets better over there in California with the you know with everything going on over there, and uh, not just to mention that, but you know, Disney List. 
dining at disney skull rock podcast we're like a podcast freaking empire it's crazy and of and, course and i i need i need to remind Lindsay she needs to email me because i had given her a shout out on dining at disney i need her to send me an email at kristen at dining at disney.com yeah she's in the chat now check it out and don't forget our friends there at Sorcerer Radio, all Disney music, all day long, srsounds.com, because they've got all great Disney music, great DJs there with a lot of hosted shows, and we've been around since uh, 2001, so there is Almost a reason why years. we are the biggest, we are the best, and we have you to thank for it, so thank you so much for supporting us there at srsounds.com. Anything else, Kristen, before we say adieu? Also, check out our friends, the Disney Dorks, oh, on right. Facebook. I can always count on Kristen for that, for sure. So book your next Disney trip with Kristen. Uh, check out our friends at Disney Dorks. And in the meantime, my name is Al John. And I'm Kristen. And, and we'll, we'll see, see you real, real soon. soon. Woohoo! Halloween! This podcast is not affiliated with the Walt Disney Company or its holdings and is intended for entertainment purposes. You're not allowed to steal my house. I know. I could help myself. Hey, gang. Thank you guys so much for tuning into our show. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next week. Bye, gang. Bye. See ya.